video is able to uh, show you how to set up log4j logging in jboss jboss comes with the default uh, logging so that the project have to exclude the jboss logging and have to place uh, log4j jars in the class path uh, setting up log4j jars in jboss is tricky when compared to application running in the tomcat container with spring boot first I will explain major difference between JBoss and Tomcat. JBoss is an application Java WE server which support uh, for servlet JSP and JAXRS web services, context and dependency injection that is uh, CN CDI and uh, Java message services and JNDI Java naming uh, directory. And Tomcat is just a servlet engine which provides support only for servlet and JSP and complementary supports for web sockets. And EAR file cannot be uh, installed in a Tomcat uh, since it's only a web server. And EAR have a VAR jar and EJB and resource adapters. So let me uh, create a new model that will uh, package as a EAR. Create a new uh, module which is packaged as a EAR. So let me right click and create a new module. In this I will select as a Maven and click next. Here I will give Uh, module hyphen EAR and finish it. Now go to pom.xml Here I say I will give packaging packaging as EAR. So let me create another model which is a Maven and name it as a module hyphen web and open its form.xml and here packaging packaging is var w a r Now go back to the EAR model. And create a dependency. So add the dependency of of a module web. Here the type the type would be WAR. Let me go to palm.xml of the main model and here add a module. So let me uh, refresh the Maven um, imports. Once I refresh it, I, I have removed the errors for this module. Now the both module of EAR and web added to the uh, main module, main app hyphen in hyphen JBoss module. Now going back to uh, form.xml in the web. Here we will add the dependencies. Uh, for log 4j So we need to add two packages one is log 4j core 
the other dependencies log4j api so these two packages these two packages and these two dependencies are needed uh, to invoke log4j these two packages are needed in the class path so that jboss will recognize log4j in the class path xml and uh, servlet class then we can deploy this ear into jboss then i will show you how log4j is logging in jboss app folder in the main in the module web and i have created web inf folder then i have created a web.xml this web.xml is having the welcome file list tag and it is having the entry of index.html in the index.html it's um, just html and i have created an hello servlet um, this is hello servlet so in this hello servlet uh, will be rendered at uh, hello endpoint so i have created a two loggers one logger is belongs to log4j the other one comes with the default java util logging so to differentiate that i have used log4j to logging and java util logging then i have created a log4j2.xml file so here i am writing the info status and the pattern layout is different than what is present in the standard on.xml and i have placed this log4j2xml under standalone under configuration and in the standalone.xml i have put a property so this property is the important this property says jboss to look into the log4j configuration file which is under jboss server base directory that is standalone and configuration and log4j2 xml once this is done then i will do the maven clean build so once maven clean um, build or install is done it will create a ear file in the ear module under the target so now you can see the target you have ear now go to services now deploy into the jboss give a right click and artifacts here you can see modules.ear is loaded then you can start the server the server is starting up which is listening at 8080 port for http now the artifact is getting deployed now the artifact is deployed now i will clean the logs now go back to the chrome and which is serving at 8080 model web and hello now you can see the hello world response is given back to the browser now if you go look into the logs you can see there are two types of logs written one it is from log 4 j to logs which is having a slight different format and uh, in a pattern layout so that it can be distinguished so if you can see it picked the log 4 j to jars in the class path and for log 4 j to logs it is using the log 4 j to log manager and other it is using the java util jboss uh, log manager Thank you.